because the people doing the hard work are not the ones making most of the money. It's the people paying those people that are making all the money. What say you? I would like to ask everybody in the YouTube world a question. And when I'm done asking, the only question I have then is what say you? I got my first sales job when I was six years old when the school came home and handed me a box of candy bars to sell to the family. And my family was blue collar, so they just ate the damn things. They didn't buy anything. So now I not only didn't sell any candy bars, but I was in the hole because my brothers ate them all. So I had to get another box of candy bars and start freaking selling my ass off. And I went out on the road and started knocking on doors because I knew my family wasn't buying anything. And very, very quickly I realized I got to come up with some sort of gimmick, some sort of spiel. Six years old, knocking on doors. I held the candy bars behind my back. I knock on the door. They answer the door. I say, hey, do you know the phone number to a good roof repairman? They said, why? I said, because when you taste one of these, you're going to go through the roof. They started loving it. Bought every box. I sold every single box of candy bars the school received that year. They gave me all the candy bars the other kids couldn't sell and literally sent little Brad Lee running around door to door, making people laugh, selling out all the world's finest chocolates. So what's the lesson in that story? The lesson is that story is humor sells. People like to have a good time. If you're out there trying to sell something, introduce humor, have some fun, relax, quit being so damn professional and start being real. Had a newspaper route. Now a lot of people wouldn't believe that a newspaper route was actually a sales position. You would think you just got up, grabbed your newspapers, drove the route, threw them in the lawn and you were done, which was what most kids were doing. What was old BL doing? I was doing the same thing they were doing, but I was stopping at each door to introduce myself. I wanted to know who lived at that house. I wanted to know where they preferred their newspaper. And I asked them if they wanted to get some other magazines that I could sell them basically because I was selling magazine subscriptions and doing contests. So like, again, that was technically a little sales job. You know, I would sell people on allowing me to do their yard work sometimes to make money. There's a whole nother story about that where the guy paid me 25 cents a weed and I went out with a bucket and, and pulled like $400 worth of weeds. The guy was just trying to let a little kid make a little side money. And I went in there and fucking reamed his ass by pulling more weeds than he ever would have imagined anybody pulling. And how did I know how to pull so many weeds? Well, number one, there were a lot of weeds in his yard. Number two, my grandpa was kind of a green thumb. He, he taught me how to just take one finger at the bottom of the root and snap that bitch out. So literally I was in there just going snap, quarter, quarter, quarter. And I spent four or five hours. The guy forgot I was out there. I knock on his door near sundown. I got a big old fucking five gallon bucket. He owes me a quarter for every weed. I fucking dumped the weeds out fucking on his porch, dude. There was a pile of fucking weed so big, he couldn't even believe it. And I'm not talking about just any old weed. I'm talking about thistle, dandelion, those little fucking wish ball things, you know? There was all kinds of shit, dude, but the worst one was thistle. Cause man, that thistle, fuck dude, poke ya. He ended up owing me about 400 bucks, fired me. Couldn't believe it. I was told all my life, even though it was only seven, eight years of it. If you wanna make it in life, all you have to do is work hard. You know what I'm saying? Focus, work hard, do a good job, and everything's gonna work out. But fortunately, at eight years old, I realized that that's not the truth. It's not the truth that all you have to do is focus and work hard and everything's gonna work out. I got fired because I focused and worked hard. I outperformed and I got fired. Why? I'll tell you why. Because there has to be a win-win scenario every single time or it's never gonna last. And that wasn't his intention. He was just trying to help a young man get a little side money, a little pocket change for the weekend. And I ended up fucking sticking him in the poorhouse cracked him for about 460. And I'm walking home thinking to myself, I thought all you had to do was do a good job. All you had to do was work hard, you know? Thank God I learned that early though, because now if you look around, there's people that you will see in the world still believing that. They're landscapers, construction workers, bridge builders. They're the laborers of the world. They're the ones that are out there working the hardest, busting their asses every day, yet making the least amount of money. Do you know who's making more money than the people that are out there busting their ass and doing hard work and focus and doing a good job? You know who's making more than them? The people paying them to do that work. See, the people that are paying them to do that work already learned, already realized, it's not the hard work that gets you paid. Listen, if you're working really hard right now, 
you're probably broke. Why do I say that? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it's been my experience that usually the hardest workers are the ones paid the least. Why? Because who's paying the people that are working the hardest? Who's paying those people? It's always somebody that's not working as hard, which is why they hired somebody to do the hard work that's paying the people that are doing the hard work. Therefore, if you're being paid by the person to do the hard work, you can bet the person that's paying you to do the hard work, number one, doesn't wanna do the hard work, which means they're not. There's clue number one. They're not doing the hard work, you are. They're paying you to do the hard work. That's a clue that they're probably getting more than they're paying you to do the hard work. Or it's a real clue that shows you they don't wanna do the hard work. So let me ask you a question. Would you rather be the person being paid to do the hard work? Or would you rather be the person paying somebody to do the hard work? Because I can hear people already. I'd rather be the guy doing hard work. Folks, you've been taught wrong, okay? The people doing the hardest work are usually making the least amount of money. Don't get mad at me, it's just the truth. I'm trying to bring you the truth so you don't have to go through life thinking all you have to do is a bunch of hard work and everything's gonna be okay. And the reason why is because you believe, you've been taught, you've been sold, you've been lied to, to make you believe that the person doing the most work or the hardest work or the person that's working the hardest is the one that's going to win. That's not true. That's not true at all. As a matter of fact, go outside and start looking at some of the people that are out there busting their ass in the sun, building things, hauling bags, heavy bags, you know, building roads, the hard work, man, real work, hard work. They're the ones getting paid the least. The people that are paying them, not doing the work, that's who's making all the money. So trust me when I tell you, hard work, that's not what you're looking for. Don't let them fool you. Hard work is not the answer. Because the hardest workers are the ones getting paid by the people that aren't doing the work. And they're making more money than the person doing the work. So if you're working hard, you're probably broke compared to the person that's paying you. What gets you paid is solving problems. If you wanna do hard work thinking you're gonna make a lot of money, you better be being paid a lot of money to do the hard work. And as soon as you start making a lot of money doing the hard work, you'll realize, man, you could give somebody else a little of that money to do the work. And then you'd stop doing the work and you'd pay someone else to do the work. And now you finally made the upper echelon because the people doing the hard work are not the ones making most of the money. It's the people paying those people that are making all the money, period. So again, stop doing a lot of hard work, start offering work. If you just work hard, everything will be fine. That is not true, that is a bold faced lie and I can prove it. Go look at everybody and write down all the people that you know or that you've known about that works extremely hard. And then right next to it, ask yourself, who pays those people and why are they being paid? Because whoever's paying those people to do the job don't wanna do the job, which is why you hire someone to do the hard work. So the richest people aren't doing the hard work, okay? The poorest people are doing the hardest work. Stop believing that you need to do a bunch of hard work to succeed. You do not. It's the truth. Okay, so listen, listen, here's what I want you to do. If you, if you hear what I'm saying, I want you to tag somebody that's out there working their asses off, and I want you to share this with them. You could save their damn life. Okay, you could literally change their life if you share this with the person that you know that's out there busting their ass. If you're one of these people, I hope this message hits you. If you're not, I hope you share it with somebody busting their ass out there because this could literally change their life. Now, if someone says, I'll give you a million dollars to go clean up my shit, and I needed a million dollars, I wanted a million dollars, I'd go clean up that shit, why? Because again, there's nothing wrong with being willing to do some work to get ahead, to go where you're going. What's wrong is to continue to do it and just stay there your whole life. You just settle for a wage. It means that, in my opinion, no one's ever taught you or, or shown you that there are other options. You don't have to do menial labor. You don't have to work for a wage. Nobody should be able to tell you what you're worth, right? When someone says, here's $20 an hour, come here and do all the shit I want you to do. Here's $20 an hour. And you're like, oh, thank you. $20 an hour is wonderful. That just means that you don't think you're worth more than $20 an hour. Because how would you work for $20 an hour if you think you're worth more than that? Why would you accept $20 an hour, $50 an hour, $100 an hour? Why would you accept a salary at any number if you believed you were worth more than that? You're talking about scarcity, friends, and I have no understanding of it. I believe there's an abundance of everything. That's why I take money when I get it and I fucking use it because I realize that money, if you don't use it, is literally worthless. So money is only worth something if you can use it.
So a lot of people are taught to save their money and not use it, which limits them. It literally handicaps them because of their mindset. They're not willing to use the tools that are in their possession because I better save this. There might not be any more. There might not be any more money. So I'm gonna hold on to the money that I have because if I let it go and no more comes in, I'm screwed. I'm not a fool. Yeah, you are a fool, okay? Those are tools that you're not using. Imagine I walk up to you, you're sitting there building a birdhouse with a butter knife. And I'm like, not that you can't build a birdhouse with a butter knife, I suppose you could, but I noticed to your right, there's a big old shed full of tools. And I say, what are you doing? You say, I'm building a birdhouse. And I say, but why don't you use those tools? And you say, no, I'm saving those. And I say, well, what are you saving the tools for? And you say, in case I wanna build something. Meanwhile, you're building a birdhouse with a butter knife because you don't wanna use the tools that you have sitting right there because you want you will might need those someday to build something. What the fuck are you doing right now? You're building a birdhouse. Okay, put down the fucking butter knife, stupid. Okay, use the tools that are sitting there in your possession and be thankful they're in your possession because let me tell you something, if you refuse to use the tools that are given to you, those tools will be taken away, including money, which is why a lot of people are broke because they don't wanna lose anything. If you look at billionaires, they've lost millions. Look at millionaires, they've lost thousands. You look at a bunch of broke people, they don't wanna lose anything. They cannot afford to, and they refuse to, and that's why they're broke. Folks, get your mind right.